1-8. Folks, this is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day, fed day out here. We had a quarter point, folks, and it uh, was a good question and answer period, but he wants 2%, man. So bottom line is that we get rates longer Big time. Always do your best, but don't overdo. Always do your best, but don't overdo. When you overdo, you deplete your body and you go against yourself, and it'll take longer to accomplish your goal. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 2, NASDAQ down 52, S&P's off 13, gold. Gold contract up $11.80 trading at 2014 an ounce. We get silver up 24 cents, 25 dollars six cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down 77 cents, trading 78 dollars 86 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note up 12 ticks, trading 112 flat. The 30 year up 16 at 126 flat in King Dollar. King Dollar right now is trading, uh, trading down 296 at 101053. The euro is at 110. The yen is at uh, 140, and the British pound is at 129 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the S&Ps? Let's take a look at them. We're going to have a little battle out here. Let's take a look because it's pretty cool how this is set up. So what you have here, bring this back. There we go. Okay, so... You know, we, we did a spread here. <laughs> we did a spread from 46.10 high to 45.73 low the whole time Powell was on. The bottom line is that what you, what you have right now is that, you know, you get a market that, you know, the, the futures are trying to get up a bit. Um, it looks to me that, uh, number one, you know, it's not going to happen. <laughs> uh, the last bar down, okay, wasn't that bad, meaning that we only had contract volume of, of 90, of 50, 50,000 contracts, five? Yeah, 50,000 contracts, but this is the problem. That this bar that you just try to get up on is only gonna end up, well, we'll see, it's four minutes, we're at 22,000. It's gonna be all about this bar right here, actually. That's, that's how this thing shakes out. Um, at this particular point, this bar doesn't look like it's gonna have enough juice, but guess what, you get, we're only at four minutes on the bar. You, let, you gotta let this bar, and so in six minutes, we're really going to get a, a nice understanding where this is going to go. My take right now is that you're going to have a contraction of the volume. The reason I'm saying that is that when you get a pop upside, which we did, you know, bottom line, it took out the highs of yesterday. Every, you know, bulls had the chance to, to run the baby. And, you know, it, we know how this has been going. It's been an upwards market in a, in a monster way. So if we go take a look at the NQs, you get the same setup. And the fight is in the exact same spot also, also in the NQs. We take a look at this. You're going to see in the NQs, the biggest bar was not the last bar. It was two bars before that. Now, that being said, let's see what we have here. We have 26,000. You get 12. And you get five minutes. So that's going to be a toss-up, too. So we get about five minutes to figure this out. Because the, what we haven't done, see the NQs, the NQs didn't, uh, bottom line, take out that low of, uh, what is that, 9, 15,691. No. What is that low? What is that low? That low is 15,515. We got down to uh, 15,519. We didn't get the 15,000... 15. The, uh, the dollar, this is interesting in the dollar. So the dollar basically, you know, hasn't got juice, man. You know, when, when we take a look at the dollar, that should give the market breathing room. I mean, that being said, you know, it, it hasn't got it yet. And as I'm looking at the S&Ps, you know, you're getting price going a bit, but you're still not getting that volume going. So uh, the consensus, well, 
Yeah, stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials up 26, NASDAQ down 47. S&Ps are off 11. We'll come right back. Attention traders, Larry Pesavento, the renowned trading mastermind, is holding an exclusive live trading event on Wednesday, August 2nd. From 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Time, transform your trading skills with the real-time wisdom of a Wall Street veteran. Just $295 gets you a front row seat to this power-packed session, plus a month free of Larry's sought-after newsletter, Fibonacci 24-7 a $97 value. Elevate your strategies, decode the markets, and achieve your financial goals. Remember, this event will be archived for all attendees, and Larry only does a few of these a year. Don't miss this opportunity. Sign up today at TFNN.com. Secure your future and start trading smarter. TFNN, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 12. We get the Nasdaq down 48. S&Ps are off 12. You know, we had Microsoft and Google come out with numbers last night. So let's go take a look at Microsoft first. Microsoft uh, trading down 15 points. You're at 335. You know, you get a good expansion of volume here. So let's take a look at this thing. You, you broke a swing, but you don't have the volume on the break. Put this on a weekly and see what we're setting up here. So on a weekly, this is where it's got really wild here. Now watch this, folks. This is what is always so dangerous when you get a beautiful trend up and then you get a pullback. Because this trend up, just a 0.382 retracement can take you to 320 and you're 335. So, and that would be, you know, a retracement, but a bull market retracement. That was, that's, what that, that's how you, you look at that. So that's telling me that we can get lower in Microsoft. We go over to Google. We take a look at Google. Google come out with numbers. Uh, bottom line, Google's trading up $6, which is not a lot. 
Okay, that's that's not that's not a big deal, man. Uh, they were up at 131. They're trading 129.20. We put this on a weekly. So we're coming into the last high with uh, let's see 124 versus 91. Well, it should have the volume. This this should have the volume. But then you're coming in. Well, you're coming into ice too. This gets interesting. Let's look at this for a second. See, well, actually, yeah, that's that's ice right there. Ice is laying out at 130. Yeah, this looks like it's actually building cause though. This is this is building. This looks like it's building cause to actually get through this area, because you can see when we broke down there, we were at the 136, meaning. On the weekly basis, 136. The high that it's taken out right now is 121. And this, we already did 91. You're at 37 today. You know, you got two more days of trading. You know, so, um, that, you know, that's, that's saying you can still go higher. Let's go over to Meta, because I believe we're coming out with numbers today, right? 26th, okay. Uh, they're looking for... 31 billion to the top line, $2.92 to the bottom line. That's trading 299 right now. Bang this on a weekly. Oh, yeah, this still needs more juice. You can see this is this is going through the downdraft. Where where is this? When we have 378 to 236 in a week. You talk about getting hammered. That was last January. That was quite a downdraft, man. Holy cow. So that was a 110-point downdraft. And that's what you're coming into. Let's see how that shakes out. Let's take a look at some of the higher volume equity. Well, actually, now let's go to the treasuries because if you're listening, you know, Bottom line is that my take is that they're, they're, they're not going to back off on these rates. Powell wants this 2%. And, you know, the, the deal, uh, the core deal is the deal. Core CPI, I mean, he made it really clear that that's what they're looking at. So the core PCI excludes food and energy, folks. It's all about services and it's all about wages. He wouldn't answer that question about the, the Teamsters. They didn't specifically say the Teamsters, uh, but he wouldn't, they wouldn't answer that question. Uh, but, you know... They, when, what, what does happen inside the wage growth, in, inside inflation in general, is that wages, that normally is the last part of inflation, but that is the most stickiest part, and that's where there's no doubt that you can go much higher because then people want more money because the bottom line, everything costs more money. You know, we take a, if we take a look at bonds, you know, my take is that, you know, th these bonds do want higher price, lower yield. That's in, that's in the market, you know. Now, it's certainly not in the short-term market, <clears throat> meaning the bank-to-bank -bank rate, because right now we're at 5.25 to 5 and a quarter. And that 5.25 to 5 and a quarter was, a, was what the Fed thought they were going to do right from the very beginning, which is pretty wild, man. Okay, so we'll see where this uh, is going to go. And the real question is, like, how long is it going to stay? Um, it, at one point, it looked like, it was going to, you know, they, they, were, they were talking about the aspect of um, rate cuts. And, you know, bottom line is he was going out to 2025. You know, so we have uh, Snap, Snap's getting hit out there. I, I can't even understand their business plan. But on bottom line, they come out, they're, they're down two bucks right now. You got uh, Google's up seven. We got uh, Microsoft down 13. We go inside the NDX 100, and we take a look inside the NDX 100. You get Google's the mover, ADP. Look at ADP. Let's look at this. What the heck is this? <laughs> That's... Look at that. ADP's up $12. What is... This is something else, man. ADP advanced much as 6-3% today. Biggest intraday gain since November. 
They're buying it, man. That's the bottom line. That's pretty wild. Inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. Point-wise out here, let's see what we have. You get Boeing uh, putting 110 points, positive points. Home Depot, 25. You get 3M, 12. We have uh, Travelers, 12, taken away from it. Microsoft, 97. You get Caterpillar, 27. Visas, 14. The gold market, we take a look at gold out here. So gold today trades 2013. We're going, to need, we're going to need some more volume here in the gold market. This is 9,700, uh, no, 97,000 contracts, but we, want, we need more contract volume. You know, yes, when it went down, let me look at this for a second. When we went down, we, we came into its strength with lighter volume, no doubt about that. Now you're basically going higher with lighter volume, which is not where it's at. Oh, but this is, this is the role of the contract. Okay, let me go to the GLD one second. When you're rolling contracts, folks, the one thing to do which is, makes it easier is you can go to the GLD. Yeah, okay. We're going higher. You go to the GLD, you can see this. You get an expansion of volume. We're going higher. You get the ABC up, still in, in place. You have the big expansion of volume today. We came down the last three days with tremendously light of volume. It was 3.4 million. You had 4.3 million. Yesterday we had 4 million. That was going against 8 million. And what we have today, we have 5 million on the way up. So that's, that's still in good shape. That's, that's the bottom line. Um, our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 24. NASDAQ's down 36. S&P's off 9.5. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 56. You got the NASDAQ down six. S&Ps are uh, off at three and a half. And let's just go look at those S&Ps because Looks like you're going to have a flat market out here, which is pretty wild, man. Yeah, you get, you get, a, little, you get a little raisin on the, on the, on the futures, but it, it's, it's light on the way up here. So what we just did from highs to lows, this is always cool. We just did just over 50% retracement from the time Powell was on to the lows going all the way back up. You know, but you don't have a lot of sellers, man. You can see this down at the bottom. That's the bottom line. Now, you don't have a lot of buyers either. <laughs> That's how this thing is shaking out right now. You can see how this thing went up. The, the last three bars, this is how we went. We did, the, the, the bottom bar here had uh, 50,000 contracts. The first bar up had 39,000. The second bar up had 33,000. We're on the third bar right now. Well, we get a long time in the third bar. Third bar is we're only three minutes into it. Uh, but the bottom line is that you can you can see what's shaking out here. It's uh, even if we came back down and and you know was down 10, 12 S and P points, it wouldn't be a big deal uh, because if you looked at this, if we take the spy and take a look at it, you're still going to be laying at highs. You can see we took the high out yesterday at 50. Six million, you get 51 million already. You're going into 65 million. That's what we're going into. That's, and we take a look at the NDX. We take a look at the three Qs. What we have inside the three Qs. We have bigger volume inside the three Qs. These these smaller um, bars, you know, do mean something. That's for sure. Meaning that. The market is nervous. That, that's how these, when you, when you get small bars like this, folks, okay, uh, that's what does happen, you know, at small turns. There's, there's no doubt about that. So we'll, we'll see how the rest of that's going to shake out. We go to the GDX and we take a look at the GDX because we know we had buy-in in the GLD. If we go to the GDX, the GDX, we've got a rejection of lower price at the 31.34. Right now you're at 31.65. You know, this is already in an ABC structure on the way up. So I suspect we're going to continue to see gold go higher. If we go into the silver market, we take a look at silver. Silver right now, you got it up 28 cents. We had 55,000 contracts traded. That's good contract volume. Same deal, man. This thing wants higher price. And then if we go to the SLV and we take a look at the SLV. So oh, look at the SLV, man. Look at the look at that. You get some real juice in the SLV. That's 22 million shares. We made a low three days ago with 15 million, which was going into 24 million. So they're all over the silver market, man. Let me put this on a weekly for a second. So if we put this on a weekly, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, this is, this is gonna, these babies are gonna go after their highs. That's how this, uh, that's how this baby's set up. We take a look at a couple of silver equities, Pan American silver, that's flat. Hecla. That's up seven cents. That's interesting. Mean EXK. Endeavor. Hmm. 
Okay, so Endeavor is up eight cents for a small stock. Kind of, we, we, we still need more buy in there. It's kind of interesting that the, what, you, what we do have is that you have the aspect of the, the silver contract itself as well as the SLV going, but they need more juice, man. They, they, the, the equities themselves need more juice. Let's go take a look at Royal Gold. I believe Royal Gold is going to be coming out. Uh, that's all, well, they're coming out with numbers August 2nd. They're going to be looking to do 154 million to the top line and 87 cents to the bottom line. And what's interesting here, but look, look at this just for a second. If you're watching Tiger TV, what you're going to see here is that they're, they're stream income, folks, okay? You got Canada, Dominican Republic, United States, Africa, and other. And the other is 142. I don't know where that other is. I got to find out where that other is. The danger right now, and you can see this in, um, not, let's see, MUX, no, M. And mag silver and mag silver. This this equity here. Now look at this up a buck today, but the lows ten, the high seventeen. Cause mag silver. Let's see what they have to say here, because they now here. Let me give you the numbers first, because their numbers. You got. They plan on doing 136 million this quarter with 13 cents to the bottom line. That's up, that's up from 51 million, okay? Let me just see what they have to say here because what you have, so Meg Silver shares rose 7.1%, the most intraday since December after releasing second quarter production volumes from their, uh, one of their mines in Mexico. Total second quarter production, 5,275,000 ounces of silver, 10,639 ounces of gold, 34 tons of lead, and 54 tons of zinc. The problem, this is, this is my take on this. The problem, this was one of the strongest stocks, folks, okay? This was... Just, yeah, what do you see this thing? And this is when, the, when this law in Mexico went through. This is a real deal that you talk about affecting. This equity went from 24 to 10. Well, I guess all the rest of them did too. So it just, it, it seemed to me though that this is having a harder time getting traction. And I suspect what that's all about is the aspect of uh, these mines in Mexico are presenting, well, they can present problems, let's put it this way, because there's going to be a negotiation that takes place about the aspect of what the royalty rate's going to be, what the split's going to be. The mining law already went into effect, okay? Uh, but there's going to be ramifications, and those ramifications basically are going to hit the bottom line. There's, that's just how it goes. And that's particularly how it goes when you actually see the price of the metals go up. If you remember the biggest run that we had when we had the run from basically 2002 to 2011 in our own country, you, the, the congressmen were basically started screaming about the aspect of mine, miners in Las Vegas, not Las Vegas, Nevada rather, you know. So they were, they were out there screaming saying, hey man, I think, you know, we should start raising rates, if not raising rates, raising royalties, all of the above. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 20, Nasdaq's down 25, S&P's are off 8, we'll come right back. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. 
Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow Industrial's uh, up 37, NASDAQ's down 33, S&P's up 7.5. Looks like we're going to have a flat market out here, folks. That's how this thing's shaking out. So let's go take a look at the Dow first. Yep, Dow made a new high, and, you know, bottom line is that this is how many, let's see, this is one, yeah, it's, whether it's three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen days, new high. Composite. Flat. You know, you're down 42, but that's a flat market. That's the bottom line. We had a high out here of uh, 14,187, a low of 14,041. That's a flat market. We go to the uh, NDX. Uh, the same deal, man. You know, uh, well, it's down 91, but that's really a flat market also. You know, yesterday we got up to this uh, 627. 15,627. Today you made it to 571. You got a low of 411. You're 86. 86 is nothing, meaning down with a 15,000 mark on it. You know. So what you are going to have is that after the close, and now what the, the, you know the bottom line is that what it looks like now, right? Is it looks like it's all back to earnings once again because the market is still not believing um, that the Fed is going to continue to raise rates. That's what it looks like, you know. And my take, though, Powell's made it really clear. See, there's two different things going on. I think Powell's made it clear that you're going to keep raising rates. Now, you, you can make the argument that, well, why is the bond market going up? Well, the bond market's going to be ahead of Powell. He, he was, they were ahead of him on the way down. They're going to be ahead of him on the way back up. That's just kind of how it goes, man. You know, it's, it's front running.
Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Go get him, folks. Thank you.